Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Taste Like Spelunky Metroidvania. Summoning the strength of starlight requires knowledge of its origins. So, mm, my controller don't want to... Okay. So. Every time I think I've made any bit of progress, it turns out I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm and probably I'm not actually making progress. So let's skip to MV2 of the uh, hub, see where I can get from here. Can arrows work as climbing spikes? Let's see, can't get down here. So, to transition from the first form of the hub to the second form, I need to uh, apparently resolve everything down here. Oh, hey. Is this stuff that I'm expected to have? By the time I get here? So I guess this level here I guess this segment here has is not expected to be dealt with in the first form of the hub. Interesting. Ow. Oh, well, I'm down to 70 HP already. So skipping bits of the hub gives me lower maximum HP. I accept this stipulation. Well, maybe not maximum HP, but starting. Hello, frog. Take that, frog. You missed me. Really? Alright, those frogs have destroyed themselves. I'm gonna s save this here. Alright. That wasn't a running jump. Hello, frogs. Huh, I cannot eat them. Which I suppose is for the best. Yep, cannot eat. Take this, frogs. Wow. Destroyed by the frogs. Ah, the, the mitt makes me better at throwing things in straight lines. Now the question is, does this enable me to escape in any way? No! Whew! I'm amazed I survived that 25 health left there. Oops. This clearly isn't a traditional type of Metroidvania, considering that it's easy, how easy it is to get stuck and have to 
restart the entire segment you're on. So I should stop trying to think about it that way. I still don't know, whoops, what I'm meant to do here. I mean, there's two doors in this room. I have explosive power with my bow. What? I think that's one of the item combo descriptions. Wow. And I somehow survived those kinds of explosions. So I have explosive power when I have the bow and the catcher's mitt. At least I assume that's the combination. That's... Why did I do that? Whatever. You ate a bow, you have explosive power. What does that mean? <laughs> Great climbing. Huh! You can use arrows stuck in the wall as climbing spikes. Fascinating. What does it mean to have explosive power? I mean, in a game like this, I would think that would mean explosion, so that's clearly not the case. Alright, frogs. Do your explosive thing. And get the heck away from me. I mean, does it... Does this combination make me better at shooting arrows? Does it make the arrows more powerful? Does it... Uh, those are the only things I can think of. Whoops! And get the heck away from there. Okay. You there, frog. Approach more closely. And that was the only spot that I had anything that, uh... It seemed like it was concealing a secret. It's stuck in your throat. Okay, so... Return here with the ham and jerky. Okay, the it's stuck in your throat is an automatic part of the message. You feel powerful.
Oh, excellent. And with uh, paste, I can enter some place I haven't seen yet. What's in here? Is that why this one's called the Arboretum? You ate a parachute. It will deploy something. Ah! Well, I missed the food, but it will deploy automatically somehow. So, there'll be food here. Okay. Piranhas. You. Hmm, I'm starting with 80 health instead of 99. Hey, bat. Enlighten me as to what's going on here. Sheesh. Uh, there's some food there. The question is, how do I ascend from here? Have I gone the wrong way? Hmm. Yeah, let's see, what do I have? I have the sticky bomb. Uh, the ability to float if I fall too far. Thus far, killing all the enemies has not been a solution to any puzzle. And this one promises to be no different. I get the feeling that I'm not understanding something again. Whoops. Let's see. So... I mean, I can see the usefulness of the uh, parachute as a way to get into that lower left door, and also get the spring shoes. Yeah, it looks like the door with the bow and the door guard by the frog are the only ones I can access right now. And there's something I'm not understanding about the mechanics of this game that is preventing me from moving on from that. Alright, well. Next form. I feel clingy. So, somehow I'm supposed to go from what I had to destroying this and clearing out this and that up above. He died the way he lived, in a tunnel. <laughs> Let's see here. Ham and jerky is still my objective. Oh, hey. I can get to all kinds of places now. Hey, you there. I can't reach that oven mitt.
Okay. So apparently I need an oven mitt for something. Oh, and I'm down to 60 starting health. Down from 80. I guess I'm, it's assumed that I'll take about 20 points of damage per section transition. So, once again, this place is a place I have access to. With no way of escaping. I'm going to try and see if there's anything I can see about this place that looks different when I have... Well, when I have the sticky gloves, that up there looks a whole heck of a lot less scary. But unless the sticky gloves somehow combine with this, I can fire up to six arrows. Did, are my arrows regenerating on their own? Ah! So I guess sticky glove plus bow equals infinite arrows. If I am understanding this correctly. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know what I was doing hanging out so close to an explosive frog or whatever. So as long as an arrow exists, it is not returned to my pool of arrows. As soon as it ceases existing, it gets returned. Neat. Okay. So holding down when I'm on the ladder does absolutely nothing unless I'm already uh, climbing the ladder. I have to push up to uh, to start ascending and then I can uh, bat sliding. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, right. I need to press up when I'm hanging out near a ladder before I can start climbing because you can't climb downward until you're already climbing upward. Okay, so there's one frog left. And so far, no sign of food. Alright, so, nothing left in here, but I still can't escape this place. Okay. Let me have one more look at the first form Oops. of uh, this, because it looks like the second form is showing me... Yeah, there's supposed to be a path down near here that just doesn't exist. And there's a door out there, so... Anyway... I guess join me next time when I explore the fourth form? Yeah, join me next time when I explore the fourth form and seek any kind of enlightenment, because there is some basic mechanic either about uh, the base game of Spelunky, or of Taste Like Spelunky, or maybe just about Spelunky 
Metroidvania that I am not understanding. So, yeah, join me next time.